Welcome back to The Colony for Mission to Mars Episode 5 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> well, it's been a while. I seem to be saying that a lot lately. Um, we're back on Mars. We're on the colony, at the colony, in the colony. Something to do with colonies. And talking of colonies, you've already seen from the thumbnail. Um, plan B. I had a lot of work to do and we've done the work. And as you can see, it's paying off. It looks like we've got some crops. We're going to go and check them out. Uh, it is two minutes past eight on a slightly overcast um, Mars clouds interesting that intimates liquid in the atmosphere the outer atmosphere let's grab this i'm not quite sure why i end up with this on here that's quite cool view. anyway so november means our next monthly installment our delivery has arrived our money has gone up as you saw already i did pick up some of the rocks and stones and a few bits and bobs that i'd pushed off the fields out of the way um they have run through with water through our production and the money's where it's sat, which is absolutely brilliant. I've got more trees to do. I'm going to show you on my little wrist, my wrist PDA, um, my to-do list, the Mars to-do list. And that's based, well, not based, it is the list from um, Farmer Bob. So we're going to, we're starting to tick things off. The great thing is we now have, or should have, Right, all the extra sugar cane that I ordered is now here. Now that's what we've got. I'm going to use that and we'll put it in the ground, see how far that goes. Uh, we should have the front loader stuff for the electric front loader that was delivered, that was sent by Rob. Um, that should now be here. What else did we order? Oh yes, um, we needed uh, bee colonies. So, bees. We've got bees in boxes. Box bees bees yeah wild bees in boxes each bee is supposed to produce 50 liters of honey apparently we, we will see front loader gear and this now this was suggested by quite a few different people apparently because i've been doing my spreading um and it took me quite some time and i used a fair bit of lime we used a fair bit of fertilizer and all that kind of stuff which is you know um apparently this with new space age technology apparently this runs more efficiently um doesn't use as much as it goes it i don't know how it works but apparently it works better so there's that that and that that and that i'm going to bring over a trailer we're going to grab our wild bees but first of all i need to go and grab the cedar it does also mean though 
we'll be able to sort out our wild bees. Forks or big bag handler? That is the question. I mean, oh, which one am I going to go for? Probably for loading these up, just for speed. I'm, I don't know, I'm going to go big bag handler. I, I've been using forks quite a lot recently. Have, I've got sort of steered clear of using the uh, big bag handler. I don't know why. Um, I, I think because people, you know, don't like it and it, you know. And I get told I should be doing stuff with forks more. So I'm like, I keep telling people I, I do use forks. I can use forks. I have used forks many times before. Um, so I guess... Yeah, I don't know. I'm back to using it anyway. Right, let's go and grab the cedar. Um, we'll go and grab that. All the other thing I'm going to do, because we've got the new one has arrived, we can sell this one. So, oh yeah, to-do list. Let's have a look at the to-do list. We'll put that up on... on that. We'll get that up. Um, so, we have a target checklist, and this is the targets that are set out. Now, if I put this in the right place, we should have it about there. There we go. What we send this for, let's repaint it, let's repair it, and then let's sell it. A boom. There we go. Um, oh, we've got another thing of... We've got one outside as well. Okay, anyway, yes, yeah, so, target checklist. Mars Colony 1. Apparently there are other colonies on the planet. I didn't know that. There are other colonies. I had someone reach out from another colony um, and say they could send some gear over, which I guess would come in through the main airlock up the top there. Um, but anyway, so we have so far on our checklist. What have we checked off? Nothing. But we do have a little note added on there. 948 trees times 2 plus 40, because there were two boxes of 20 up on the hillside. So, so far we've put in 1,936 trees. That's in already. I'm keeping a tally. Um, and we've got all the rest of the stuff to do. Now we have got some crops in the ground and we're going to put some more sugarcane in. If sugarcane turns out to be a, a real bumper crop, that could be one of our crops. So I've just put crop one to six. When we decide what they're going to be, I can pencil them in with our lovely red China Graph pencil. And uh, then when we hit those targets, we can tick them off. If we hit those targets, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, so... On top of the sugar cane, we are going to be focusing on bees today. Uh, we've got plenty of money. Now, I'm just thinking, it says 20 large beehives. They're 20 grand a pop. Five is going to be 100,000. I mean, we could put all 20 in. Now, that would be 400 grand. No, that's a lot to do in one go, isn't it? Maybe we'll do half. We'll put ten in now. I don't know how many bees each one's going to take. That's the thing. So we'll see. Anyway, yeah, so we'll get those going. And at least we can check off the first ten. I'm going to whiz off and grab a tractor. Grab the cedar. Come back. Um, I've decided, like I say, we're going to... We'll have a look at the crops that are in the ground that are growing. I said the sugar cane that we originally put in. I had the panic because of how much sugar cane and how much seed it took. So, whoa! So it's already growing. Um, so the next lot is going to go in sort of next to it. Now I also did a bit of testing and I there's um, an all what's it called? A uh, multi-crop planter? It's one of the potato planters that does poplar and it does sugar cane as well. I, I had a test with that um, in so much as back on earth i thought you know what let's get some testing done and it actually was uh, almost identical the, the amount of coverage it did with the same amount of seed was almost the same so crops in the ground look our grass is growing all the grass areas i spent so long doing our grass is growing our crops are growing it looks so much nicer now we've got some greenery I'm just going to whiz around and have a look because I want to check out all of our grassed areas, including inside the animal domes, because that should all be growing now. Oh, it looks so much better, doesn't it? So once that's all fully grown, we can then get on to doing silage. We can get some um, hay made. We can just do grass if we want, then, which means we can then get our sheep underway. We can get them going. Oh, no, I didn't, did I? I absolutely did miss a bit. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I suppose it was likely to happen. I did um, 
like I said, because I had to come back and redo all of this, which wasn't fun. It was uh, quite quite a lot of extra work. Oh no, I have missed loads of bits. Well, I can come back over that. I can put a bit of seed in that. It's not a problem. We've got our broadcast seed, and we can always do that. Um, but I have to say, it is looking pretty good. And inside the domes. Oh, look at that. Quality. It's quality work, that's what it is. Quality work, right. Very pleased. So, yeah, what I'll probably do between now and the next episode, I'll probably run out another full load of trees. We'll get another load put in. Uh, another 948. I think, actually, it depends what those pallets have got on them. I'll, I'm, I'm keeping a tally, I'll keep a check. Um, so, what are we going to use for the seeding? Are we going to use our Mars variant, or are we going to use the... I think we're going to use the Mars variant. Let's do that. Seed is there. Actually, you know what we are going to do? Let's, um, let's use our special particle blower. Do a bit of clean-up. I'll see you in a minute when this is done. We'll get out there. Let's get the sugar cane. I'm honestly dreading how quickly we're going to get through this sugar cane. But to be fair, we've got enough money. We can always buy... I don't know whether or not to buy some more. We've got plenty of regular seeds stored away. So I don't know whether or not to... Um, just use what we've got. And whatever sugar cane we put in the ground, we put in the ground. Then the rest of the field put something else in. Maybe just pick one of our other crops and just add to that as an additional, you know? I think the rest of it all seems to be fairly okay, actually. Actually, you know what? It's quite dark at the moment. I might send out one of the autonomous tractors to do that little bit of grass seeding that I missed. Oh, we've still got 4,600 litres in here for... Oh, of course we did when we did the red beet. Because the beet... Oh, this, this is still over the shop. We might have to switch to a regular tractor. I don't know about this. I, I thought it was going to be fantastic, but it, I'm having a lot of problems with it. It's not a big fan of a lot of this stuff. I'm going to switch it out. Maybe we'll buy something else. See if we can get another one. Yeah, the uh, other one's sent up, maybe. It's annoying, because it looks really cool. <laughs> and as we all know, when you're in space, looking cool is what's most important. Greenhouses, everything's on direct selling, that's all good to go. Hopefully the sun is going to come up a little bit more. So yeah, this is where we're at. That's better. So I don't mind driving across the grass, that's not a problem. This first bit of field is okay. So I'll just switch that back then to... That's sugarcane, isn't it? Poplar, yeah. Because it will hoon through this, so... Uh, like I say, with what we've got, that's the sugarcane we've got. We will... Um, to what we can I guess see how far we get with that and then whatever we get is whatever we get and then the rest of the field I'll put something else in I mean the sugar cane is going to yield very high so you know I'm going to have some of it will be ready before the rest of it but we're only out by a month it's not the end of the world not the end of the world I'm just curious to see I didn't ever check how many pallets how many pallets do we end up buying so 16 there Two double stacks, four, eight, I'm sure it's 16. At 5,000 litres each box, but that means absolutely nothing. Let's move it over just a little bit. Let's see how badly this goes. <laughs> right. Oh, look at it. It's just dropping. Oh, deary me. Oh, 
There are other crops though. Just go show all that hard work. It was absolutely worth it. It was worth every moment. <laughs> I'm going to keep telling myself that. <laughs> Until my life makes sense again. terrifying <laughs> boom done <laughs> oh okay let's get the covers open let's go and grab some more I don't know whether I might be better off bringing all the seed out right by the field I think I'll probably do that so what I might do I'm, the problem is we're doing this when I put a worker on it we set a worker off which is absolutely fine um, if I get one of the autonomous tractors over there and away we go when I refer to workers I'm talking about the autonomous tractors we don't have any other colonists up here yet possibly on the next shuttle I'm just hoping yeah maybe if we get I have to be putting some um, some accommodation actually I'm going to go and check this because this is this has baffled me. I don't know how this has reappeared. This doesn't make any sense at all. So that is that is not even showing one as one, is it? PL10 showing, but not the. Well, I won't know until I hook up to it. And then we got that one in there, which potentially is a 20. So that could be a 316, and that one could be a 20. I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. Trees have got a mind of their own. Maybe there's some kind of organism here on the colony. Oh, it's typical though as well. Like I was saying when I did my uh, video on uh, Evergreen Valley. With everything that's gone on and all of the I can't seriously need to be lifted. I was going to say, I have a word, son. Really? I started to take it. What's going on? Um, yeah, it's, it's typical that with everything that's gone on, all the problems I had with various different things... <laughs> And then obviously mods and maps and you know, all the various different reasons why it's taken quite a while. Um, that I go on holiday with Miss Silly P on Friday. <laughs> I want to try and keep this going. Build up some momentum, that's the plan. So, let's see how far we get with this. I'm going to go and get those little two little bits grass seeded that I missed. We won't be cutting the grass anytime soon. We're going to have to buy some mowers and equipment and stuff for doing that. And they'll be deciding. I don't know actually, I don't know where to... I'm thinking maybe putting the bees in a line along where the trees are, up to the north. Then the bees can come out down across the fields, maybe? I think that might be a thing we could do, maybe. Just an idea, I don't know. Just hoping that strange alien plant doesn't spread out across the fields. How far did we get? Just here. Oh, scary stuff. Okay then. It is now 9.18. And our um, sugarcane 
planting session <laughs> is over. I have to say, I, I was, I, I would say mentally calculating it because you know, but no. Um, 16 pallets at 5,000 litres, that comes in at 80,000 litres of seed. Uh, but if you use the um, farm supply pack by the lot, it's 1,000 for, for 5,000 litres. So we, we paid 16,000 for 80,000 litres, which is pretty impressive. Um, and like I say, I'm going to keep saying it. This Let's Play is not about the money. Yes, we do need money. But this is about saving the planet, people. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we do need money for purchasing of things. But this is not about us selling product. This is not about necessarily... We just need to be supplied with things. So, it doesn't matter how we get it. It doesn't matter how expensive it is. That's what we need. Um, so, if you look across the field... Well, that strip left. That's how much we did. We did way more than I thought we would. 80,000, I mean, admittedly, 80,000 litres of seed. I didn't use 80,000 litres of seed on all of the rest of the fields combined, but um, I'm not going to do that final strip. I could buy another you know, pallet and get it delivered in a month's time, but there's no point. Uh, so that's our crop types, that's our growth. Obviously, that first section has is one stage ahead now, but that's fine. And as far as soil composition goes, we are double fertilised. Um, if I turn that off, doesn't need rolling. We're good to go. Everything is fantastic so this will go back i have taken the liberty of bringing over the next lot of wild bees so they're just over here i'm going to um put this away i'm going to grab our um forklift i have to say not forklift our telehandler what i like about the telehandler i mean i like and loathe <laughs> is um because it's electric and electric motors, electric cars, or, because it's instant acceleration. There's no gear change, there's no gradual build up. It's boom, it's on, off, wallop, and off you go. Um, so, around the yard, for yard work and stuff, the electric telehandlers, electric vehicles, are absolutely fantastic because you've got that immediate acceleration, and it is immediate. Let's just disconnect that, pull that forward engine off hop out um but because he's only got a top speed of nine miles an hour you get to nine miles an hour very quickly forward or reverse but then once you're at nine miles an hour it feels like quite the chug so let's start that up and you'll see if we reverse it's like bomb bomb so yard work it's immediate you're up to nine miles an hour really really quickly so for yard work absolutely fantastic however like I say, once you get to that nine miles an hour, which we are at now, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, this is not the sort of vehicle you would want to be doing long distances. And um, you know, with with battery technology, and it has come a long way, and um, distances that can be covered with battery technology are getting you know, further and further, and it is moving ahead very, very quickly. Um, electric battery technology. Um, but obviously when you've got a small telehandler if you pack in more batteries to give you more range it becomes a lot heavier and you don't necessarily depending on what you're using it for want it to be overly heavy and a lot of the telehandlers have battery packs like changing batteries in a, in a remote control you open the side panel up you slide one battery out put a new battery in, and off you go again so you can swap the batteries out during the day so it's not really designed for long distance travel that's not the point of it so at nine miles an hour it's going to take us a little while but we're going to go over to the top end look at our crops look i know for you guys because you'll have watched the last episode there's been a gap and now we've got this one um you'll be like well yeah you were planting those crops but like i say if you it depends which episodes you've watched what you've seen um, when i was talking about it um because of the um the PlayStation situation. <laughs> I've switched both of them now um, to. I've turned off Auto Sync, so I can use utilise them as independent systems. Um, because I, I I daren't take the chance that if I turn on the game, not by accident, but I, I just think, oh yeah, I'll, I'll get on and I'll play. If it auto syncs the wrong way, 
I lose everything I've done. It will auto sync to what I've got on one and not the other. You know, it, it can get complicated and, and that's what went wrong last time. So everything I had done, all the prep work, all the field work, all of the all the grass fields, all of the ploughing, all of the inside the domes, all of it was all gone. <laughs> so I had to redo the lot. So it took a while. But we're there now and that's why I'm happy. That's why looking at the crops and looking at it growing and now we've got the sugar getting in and now we've moved ahead a little bit. Um, and now we're getting get ready for bees. And in of itself, doing bees is, you know, it's a fairly standard thing. You know, we've, we've done bees before. Um, I'm trying to think if I've done the wild bees before. I know when they came out we had a look at them. Um, what's good about this, I like the fact that you're bringing bees and they will gradually run down <laughs> once they finish producing they're free to go wild you know what this is reminding me of because of the domes as well x files who remembers the x files <laughs> with um i mean not, not who remembers the x files but who remembers the x files episodes with the bees um that are carrying what disease was it they were carrying but anyway um and they, they find themselves in the middle of nowhere in America. And it's one of those things as well that made me really think about the scale of a country. They drive for so long and there's just nothing. It's just hundreds and hundreds of miles of nothing. In the UK, you know, you, you don't travel that sort of distance with nothing, you know. And they find these two domes, cornfields all around, and there's two white domes. They go into the domes and there's this humming, like an electrical humming. Then these doors open and all these bees come out. It's just, and it's just made me think of that. Having the bees in the boxes and having the domes over there just flash back to the X Files. Anyway, and Dana gets stung, if I recall correctly. So, uh, what we're going to do if we go into the buildy modi, go to animals and we go along to our bees. So, these ones here, the Langstroth 33 hives, that's your standard one, 19 grand. What's good about this is these ones, part of the honey production, are also 19 grand, so it's the same price. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to put in our first 10. And like I said, I'm going to put them along the edge here. So I might bring them in a little bit. So, so we've got enough room for turning vehicles when we're doing the field work. But it allows the bees to go out and, you know, go out and party, do whatever they want to do. So I don't know how much room we're going to need between... I don't think we need much room at all, actually. We could probably put them right on top of each other. Where's the... There's our overlap limit. the other way why is that saying it's overlap what's overlapping with okay this seems a much bigger gap that's our 10 yeah it's that weird the gaps that way going that way are all really close together but going that way it required a much bigger gap between I mean I could have turned the place thing off that's not a problem so now like I, said, I don't know how many bees each one's going to take um, we don't have um, do we have a manage thing let me just double check that we do so go to the site now, like I say, so over the side there, incoming material is your bees, and your bees will gradually run down, but each one will produce 50. Um, so this is going to be something that maybe each month we're going to need to get um, more bees delivered uh, on the shuttle, which is fine, but the only prerequisite for this is to have 20 of the hives. Now, the standard ones will just keep going forever. But I wanted to have that interactive thing of we're actually bringing bees up to, to put in here. Um, that was kind of the point behind it. So, like I say, I, I don't know. We're about to find out. If this takes all of these, then we're in real trouble. I don't know if it's put one in each or...
Oh, it's to the side. Oh, so the honey comes out the front. Do we not need a separate thing for this? I still haven't used it. Oh, no. Okay. We are going to need more bees. We are definitely going to need more bees. Okay. So that's interesting because doing them the other way, these all overlap now. So that's not... Am I going to be able to get them in there? It allowed me to place them that close, but we're we're seriously overlapping here. I guess we're about to find out. So, that's our thousand. That can be switched on. Now it says storing, so I'm assuming each... Now, this is where we might have a problem. Because if we put in 20 of these, because these are productions... Uh, so that's 10 productions already in. If we put 20 productions in, just thinking of other things, I don't know whether actually what we might do is the first 10 will have bees that we put in and then the next 10 will go standard. I'm just thinking of limiting the amount of productions required. Let's turn that one on as well. So, yeah, because these are a production, the honey will come out the front here, whereas normally you put your beehives out and then you have the one point for your honey to come out. So, mm, yeah, I have put some more um, bees further along, so I was going to do it further along initially, but I decided to do it here. Okay, right. Let's go and grab that. I'll come back and I'll put the next ones in. We're definitely going to need more bees. But that's fine. That's our first ten in. That was the plan. I'm thinking about now, I might just bite the bullet and say, you know what, let's just, should we just go for it and put the next load in as well? Put all 20 in in one hit. I know it ticks a box, doesn't it? Let's go back to our animals, go back to our bees. We're going bee crazy, people. Oh, let's do it, why not? Actually, I'm thinking what I might do with these ones. Should we put them sort of all in one? Overlap them. Is that 20? If I miscounted that? And then we need one of those. We'll put that out, that end here. Actually, I didn't look to see on the other one with where bees coming out. But we have bees coming out now. Excellent stuff. Check. 20 beehives in. Let's go and get the rest of the bees, get those put in. And then what I'll probably do, I'm going to head off and get those last, get those couple of pallets of, um, well, double check and see whether or not those pallets of trees are right or not, because it seems a bit weird. Where did I put these other bees? I thought I put them... Oh no, they're right up here. I'll grab them, I'll bring them back. Oh, there you go. Just coming into view now. Right, so our first two were in, so we're about to do another. So we'll be able to do five of the ten, with a thousand going into each. Uh, I need to make sure I get to the right side. Thinking, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that in there. There you go. Uh, get our last bit in there. Is that one done? Have we got a little bit left? Oh, it's taking some off of one, not another. Let's go to that one. There we go. So that's the first five. So we are going to need... So whilst we have got... I'm not going to put a tick in the box yet, you know, because whilst we have got our, ten, uh, our 20 hives in, the first 10 require bees, the second 10 don't. Um, our first... 10, only five of them have bees in them, so I'm not going to do the tick until we've got bees in all of them. Now I'm also curious to see how quickly our bees will 
be utilised, let's just say that. Um, if you're vegan, I apologise. I know that's that kind of, you know... Yeah, it's not good. But, obviously, depending on your views, I'm just saying. Um, so next month, in December... <laughs> months, just had to work out what game after November... Um, we'll get some more but then potentially these ones are, will have run down so then there is also the potential what i might do again moving forward is once these have all run out i will fill the first five are now filled up so i need to do is go over to uh this one will be that one's done that one's done this one here turn that one on uh this one here turn that one on that one 999 we lost a litre somewhere is that all five that's it right so once those five have run out swap them out for these ones now i'm going to lose half the money when i sell them but we're doing all right if i get some more stones we put some more stones in and we run our ore through and again that's another way we're earning money here we're sending all these ores back to earth um, for them to process and do whatever. Now, we could do processing here. I've had a lot of people message me saying, you should get your processing plant and get that put in. Um, you could be making way more money by doing all the processing there. I can, but as it stands at the moment, we're going to keep sending some bits back. I have got enough. I'll give it some thought. I have got enough. We could process, because I think the gold and stuff is worth... I mean, it becomes almost like an exponential price increase. It's absolutely nuts. But that's our first lot of bees in. I'm going to put our order in for our next load of bee pallets. Um, we should be able to find them. I think they're under just regular pallets as far as I'm, I'm aware. And we'll go on to our, uh, our order form. I'm sure there is somewhere. There we go. Bee pallets. 500 per. So for five more, we're going to need 10 more boxes. So another 15 grand. And we also need to put... Do I need to get some more saplings delivered? We will need to get some more saplings delivered at some point. Actually, if I put those in order as well, we'll get the next lot. So each month we'll put the next nearly 1,000 in, 948. Um, so let's get our order in. No, we'll do that later on, actually. All good. Right. So, bees underway. The honey, when it comes out... Actually, do I send the honey directly to selling? Or... I suppose I should really, shouldn't I? I can't with the regular one. That's just going to come out and we'll have to move those pallets. But all the other ones, we could do a direct selling on it. Like I said, I just thought it'd be something different to try. So, I'm going to whiz over. I'm going to pick up um, those two things of um, saplings. And... Um, I was up on the top. I'll show you. Did I show you? I can't remember if I've shown. Like I say, it's been so long. Um, where we got to with putting our trees in. Um, like I say, we're up to 1,000. What did it say on that sheet? I can't remember now. 1,936. Something along those lines. Okay, I decided I was going to pre-order, so I've pre-ordered three more things of 316. I've got 336 on here at the moment, so this was the one that was on its own. That was already on, and that was round um, at the sell point. So I've ordered three more of those to come next month, and I have pre-ordered the next ten boxes of wild bees. So I'm driving out to show you where I'd got to with the trees, but also as I was driving out, I was looking out thinking, doesn't that look so much better from up here? With our grass growing, our crops growing, now I've got the sugar cane, I'm really happy with that. And the fact that inside the domes we've got the grass as well. And oh, it's, I'm really, really happy with that. Um, another big shout out to Greg and Ethan. Thank you so much for the you know the idea for inside the dome and sorting that out. Or the domes, should I say. That's worked out absolutely brilliantly. I want a massive shout out to Jason as well. Huge shout out to Jason. Thank you very much for your huge generosity. Just... Yeah, I, thank you. That's all I'm going to say. Jason, you know who you are. Thank you very much. So, I've been going out all along here. And then what I did, I had one... You know, I had that weird thing where I, it had gone along. I can't remember if I showed it or not. Like I say, because it's been a while, because everything went wrong. Um, I had... It didn't... 
unload them, the 316s, all evenly for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so what I did, I had one left, so I brought it up onto here, and I put some strings of trees up on these ledges. So not just using the flat spot there, any of these ledges, I'm not going any further up because obviously it gets a little bit more mountainous and rocky, but any of these flatter terrace bits, I'm putting trees out on these as well. So this would all be a kind of a large forested area. So what I'm intending to do is carry on. Apologies again, I had some people messaging me yesterday on the mod review asking me, was it raining when I was doing the mod review? It was hammering down. I mean, absolutely pouring. As I keep saying, it hasn't stopped raining for days and days and days. It just... Um, the day starts off nice, by lunchtime it's pouring down again, it just seems to be a constant thing. So I've gone all the way along to here, I think this is where we got to, or did I go further along? I'm trying to think now. Yeah, we got to about here. So I'm going to continue when I get... Blimey, I went further than I thought. Oh, here we go. So, once these all start growing up, be absolutely fantastic, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, they should both be good to go. If we drive forward. Do we need to drop them down? Oh yeah. Buffoon. There we go. Drop them both down and away we go. So, these next ones will go in. He says. So I'm going to add that to my total. And I'm going to keep a running total. Um, I Because I do my Let's Plays now on multiplayer. Um, because obviously I've, I've mentioned this before for content creation it just makes life a lot easier when you've got to juggle different things um, I won't go into the details but anyway yeah so when you're on multiplayer you don't get the screen because I know people are saying why are you keeping a tally just go in it will tell you how many trees you've planted how many trees you've cut down that's not available in, in multiplayer um, so I, that's why I'm just keeping a tally I want to get to my 10,000. I mean, it, it, I will reach a point, I assume, where I won't hit the 10,000. Um, Nina messaged me the other day. Um, good friend to the channel. Um, they're go going through lambing at the moment. She sent me some pictures of the lambs, um, which is really cool. And um, she's been watching my videos while she's been out doing lambing. And um, she put a picture up the other day saying 10,000, like, woohoo, and she's she's hit the 10,000. But she didn't say whether or not she had... Um, whether she had had to cut trees down to get to there or not, but she, she had hit that limit. So I'm just going to carry on along the outside here until we... Um, actually, we're heading up towards that, that bit where that meteor came through and crashed. I don't know if we'll get that far yet, but 292 trees left to go. Lots of room up here, so I'm, just, I'm hoping, because we're just over 2,000 trees, I know it's a lot more to go, that, like I said, putting the trees around this top ring here, we might be able to get nearly all of them up here without eating into too much room down below. I might put some more trees in, like this, maybe with one planter on. Um, so just don't have it on the frame, but have it on the back of the tractor. And I might plant some trees in amongst the trees that are down there already. Um, because there's quite a lot of space in between them, so I think we might thicken that up a little bit. But again, that's just... a just an idea. I'm just sort of trying to work out really the best ways of doing this. Yeah, look at all this space here. We've got these little terrace bits up here. So as long as you can get the tractor up there with it, with one of them on the back, it doesn't matter. Um, and get a few trees up on that top level. I mean, we could probably, if we can get a tractor up a little bit higher, we could probably get them in... On some of those terraces up there as well, I guess. Just trying to utilise the space as, as much as possible. Looks like we've got another little quarry up here on the right hand side with some stone in. I'm seriously considering that ore thing now, you know. It was Richard that messaged me and said about the gold um, and um, was I using it? And I said, I'm using it on Mars. And he said, but are you using the ore facility? I said, well, no, at the moment I'm just using the... Uh, the Universal Crusher. So I'm, I'm seriously considering it though. Oh yeah, look, we've got a load of stone here. Just trying to see if there's been some kind of... Uh, we'll go around this. Whether well, there's been some kind of incident up there that's caused the rocks to fall. But anyway. So this is, this is where we're going to finish off. I'm going to just head out until we get to that bit so we can look down towards the crater. 
but I've got done what I wanted to do. The sugar cane is now in. We've got the attachments for the um, telehandler. We've got the beehives in, but like I say, I am going to tweak those. Next month, I'm going to put in the next load of bees. We'll see how quick the other ones go down. And what we'll do is, as each beehive runs out of bees, we will swap it out for a standard Langstroth. Um, it didn't dawn on me about the productions, and, and putting in 20 is a lot. So uh, having one on its own, that's fine. Keep that top top of bees to your heart's content. But I think for what we're doing here, potentially not. This is going to take a while. It's funny how when you've got all three running and it, the numbers are going down a lot quicker, but they're still going down at this rate. It's just you have three running, but at least we'll get these pallets sorted out and out of the way. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch this out. Oh, will I? Oh, no, I'll come back up with another one at some point. Or if I get another one of those when I'm putting them out and, and for some reason it does them at odd amounts. If I've got one left over, then I'll go up and do the bridge bits. But I'm going to stop there for the time being. I don't know I've still got those on. Stop down. See all that sort of divot there whoosh oh yeah look at that boom straight through and see where it's scored through the top layer leaving the red dust layer behind nice so that's where i'm going to leave this episode i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching